Hi, welcome back to CVN305. Today we are going to quickly look at how we are going to use calculus to help us find shear forces and bending moment. Calculus is our friend, not our enemy. I want you to understand. It's not, it's not there to make things difficult. It's actually to make things much easier. Last class we saw how to calculate shear force and bending moments for concentrated loads. Now we are going to look at a different problem in, in which I am going to have a beam. Okay, on which there are distributed loads pulling on it. I want you to un understand that external loads that pull on the beam like this in the positive y direction, this is called Q of x. External loads that pull on the beam like this are positive and it is not uniform. I am just drawing it like that. So, maybe there is some fluctuation in the load. So, it looks like that and we want to find out what is the bending moment at wherever we like. So, at, at, at location x, we want to find the bending moment. We do not want to keep on like drawing free body diagrams and this, that and the other all the time. So, we want to actually simplify the process so that I am not drawing hundreds of free body diagrams. I may be drawing one large free body diagram and rest of it I am doing by calculation. Okay. So, what I am going to do is take a chunk of, chunk of this. So, I am going to take a small piece and the length of this chunk will be delta x and our notation is delta x equals chunk of x ok. dx means sliver of x. Sliver means small chunk. Of course, those of you uh, who are experts on calculus and all that you might, you might get really not very happy about it and taking limits and all of that. But you know, you can do all of that, you will still get the same stuff. It is actually easier to understand this way. So, then you will see. So, what I am going to do is I am going to draw a free body diagram of this chunk. So, if I draw the free body diagram, it is going to look like this. So, this thing is delta x from here to there and then the forces on it are q of x here and then Based on our notation, I will blindly put like that, like that. This is the bending moment. This is m. This will be slightly more or slightly less. I don't know. I am going to call it m plus delta m. Then there will be a shear force here downwards like that. That will be called v and oops, sorry. I got the sign wrong here. Apologies, apologies. So, my sign convention says I am going to put shear force up here. V and shear force on this side down V plus delta V. Okay. So notice on the right face bend, bending moment is positive counterclockwise, shear force is positive down. On the left face Bending moment is positive clockwise and shear force is positive up. This will be consistent. So, the bending moment has to, as I have told you many times, the bending moment has to make the beam smile. That is, it has to do this. Right? That is why the bending moments are both like that. Okay? So, now that we have our basic stuff, so now I am going to do summation of all the forces, vertical up is positive gives me let us see v plus q of x times delta x that is the applied force minus v plus delta v. The m's do not contribute so we do not care about the m's must be equal to 0. This will immediately give me cancel out the v and I will get delta v equal to q delta x which implies as delta x tends to 0, this will give me my first major result which is very important dv dx equal to q. So, I am going to state it in the word in words shear force equals integral of the 
अप्लाइड लोड अप टू दैट पॉइंट दैट्स व्हाट दिस मींस सो बिकॉज दिस मींस v इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल q dx राइट सो दैट स्टेटमेंट इज हियर now let's take a look at the bending moments so now i am going to do bending moments positive that way so if you look at our figure uh, actually because it will help us do it here i will do it right oops i'll do it right here so that you can see bending moments positive that way will give me minus m right i'm going to take moments about this point p okay deliberately because i don't want to do all this v plus dv and all that stuff so it's very easy minus m so that's going clockwise minus v times delta x that's the moment due to this force the moment due to this distributed force will be q times the centroid that's delta x over 2 so minus q delta x that's the force times the moment arm delta x over 2 right and then this one is clockwise plus m plus delta m this is zero okay notice this does not have any moment because i'm taking moments around p and v is going right through there so immediately i can cancel this and now i'm going to take divide by delta x and take limit and i will get minus v minus q delta x in the limit this will go to zero so i don't care plus m dm dx equal to zero so i will get dm dx equal to v easy results right so all it means is that moment equals integral of v dx so here are our two basic results dv dx equal to q dm dx equal to v you can also write it as v equals integral q dx m equals integral v dx so how can we use this i'll show you oh plus constant of integration whenever i integrate something i will get some which i'm going to call this constant of integration v not this constant of integration m not don't forget the constants of integration they really matter so let's look at an example and see if we can figure this out okay so i have a cantilever beam with a uniformly distributed load across the cross section so this is q of x okay in our case q of x is minus q not why is it negative can you see it's pointing downwards so that's negative okay so step 1 write q of x which we have done step 2 draw free body diagram when i draw the free body diagram i will get q of x acting through here then i have reaction force here so i remember i'm going to call this point a and this point b so this is ay and then there will be a moment here ma step 3 solve for ay and ma 
so which means summation of all the forces vertical up will give me ay minus Oops. Minus integral of q of x dx 0 to L must be equal to 0. What is this? This is the net downward force. So that's easy to compute. That will give me Ay equals minus of integral 0 to L minus q naught dx which is minus 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 is plus q naught times L. That's obvious, right? So the net if this is a uniform load, of course the total force will be the load times the length, which is L. This 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 case. Excellent. So that was no big deal. Now let's compute the moment. And I'm going to compute this way positive. So that will give me MA. I'm going to comment the compute the moments around point A. M A. Now this one you can do in a number of ways. I am going to just say this is equal to the net load times the distance to the centroid. This distance. And that's L over 2. So this will turn out to be Q naught L which is the force times the distance to the centroid L over 2. That is the moment arm. This is the force. That's sorry. That plus equal to zero. So M A equals minus Q naught L squared over two. Now we are ready. We can compute M of X. So sorry, V of X equals integral Q of X dx plus constant, which turns out to be minus Q naught X plus constant. How do you find the constant? That's easy. V of 0 is Ay. So that means V of 0 is C, which is Ay, which turns out to be Q naught L. So V of x is minus Q naught x plus Q naught L. M of x equals integral V of x dx plus another constant that is if I call this c1 this constant is c2 and as usual I can do that integral of minus q naught x plus q naught l dx plus c2 which will turn out to be integral let's do that minus I don't even have to do the integral. I can just write it. That's pretty easy. The integral will just be minus q naught x squared over 2 plus q naught lx plus c2. How do I find c2? m0 equal to ma which implies c2 is ma which was minus q naught l squared over 2. So that will turn out to be minus q naught x squared over 2 plus q naught lx minus q naught l squared over 2. So generally speaking, you don't even have to do all this substitution and all of that. You will always get v of x equal integral q of x dx plus v at 0. M of x equal to integral uh, V of x dx plus V at 0. Sorry, M at 0. Apology. That's it. 
Okay, so if you get the free body diagram, you can find these two things. Then after that, it's just an integral. That's all you have to do. You can find v of x, m of x. The problems are sometimes, you know, getting q of x is tough and so on. And we'll show you how to do it in a very elegant way shortly.